Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series on objections to Bayesian epistemology as part of our larger series on Bayesian epistemology. In this video we're going to be looking at the problem of logical omniscience for Bayesian epistemology. As we remember from previous videos, we have something in probability and logic known as the probability tautology principle. Basically, for all L, where L is a law of logic, the probability of L is equal to 1. Or for all logical truths, the probability of those logical truths must be equal to 1. The probability tautology principle. We also remember that with the Dutch book arguments, for them to be valid, we must assume that the laws of probability apply to our degrees of belief, or that they map perfectly onto our degrees of belief. If there is a certain probability of something, we must have that degree of belief in that thing to be rational. If they did not, the central comparison of Bayesian epistemology between degrees of belief and probability would fall apart. Therefore, the degree of belief in the laws of logic must be one, or certain. If you've been watching all these videos, this should look very similar to the beginning of the last video. We're going to start diverging a little bit here. Problem of logical omniscience goes something like this. Yet, in order to believe something, we have to be aware of it. We have to have some sense of it. It would be strange for us to believe in something we'd never heard of. Surely there are logical truths that we are not aware of. There are probably an infinite number of logical truths. Therefore, we can't be logically omniscient. Therefore, degrees of belief cannot map onto probability, and Bayesian epistemology sets an impossible standard. There's no way for us to be logically omniscient, so we can't map our degrees of belief onto probability. So that mapping, that comparison, is just incorrect. It's invalid. Degrees of belief don't work like laws of probability. A more formal argument might go as follows. Premise 1. No one can believe an infinite number of propositions. Premise 2. There are an infinite number of logical truths. Premise 3. If Bayesian epistemology is to be a viable option, you must believe all logical truths. Premise 4. You cannot believe all logical truths. Therefore, Bayesian epistemology is not a viable option. We'll take a look at why you might believe premises 1, 2, and 3, and then look at how premises 4 and the conclusion follow from those premises. So, premise 1, no one can believe an infinite number of propositions. It seems to me that it'd be very strange for someone to argue that you can believe an infinite number of propositions. If you want to put forward that argument, I haven't seen it, it would be interesting, and it might pose an interesting third solution to Munchausen's trilemma. But it seems to me, unless you're a god, you probably can't do this. Or if you can, you should go publish every logical truth that you know and solve all the problems of logic. So, if you have an argument for this, please put it forward. I doubt that anyone's ever presented such an argument. Premise 2. There are an infinite number of logical truths. If you believe simply some of the basics of logical truths, if you are going with classical logic or most logics generally, you're going to end up with an infinite number of logical truths. If you take a logical truth and do something like the law of double negation, you'll end up with an infinite list going down. P or not P is the same as it's not the case that it's not the case that P or not P is the same as it's not the case that 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 P or not P and so on and so forth. You can create an infinite list that way. You can create another infinite list just adding or Q or A or B or C, with those being any proposition you can come up with. And since there's an infinite number of propositions, there must be an infinite number of logical truths in that way. In fact, following that, the set of all logical truths isn't even denumerable. You should check out my video on Cantor's paradox for more about what that means. But with that, let's move on to premise three. If Bayesian epistemology is to be a viable option, you must believe all logical truths. The laws of probability require that we assign a 1 to all truths of logic. In Bayesian epistemology, a 1 represents certain belief. To claim, as Bayesian epistemology does, that degrees of belief can map onto probabilities, we must have certain belief in all logical truths. 
That's just the way that Bayesian epistemology has to work. If it doesn't work like that, we can't help ourselves to things like Bayes' theorem if degrees of belief don't map onto probabilities. Therefore, premise four, you cannot believe all logical truths. All sets of all logical truths are infinite things. No people can believe infinite things. Therefore, no people can believe the set of all logical truths. That's going to be figure AEE, -E, unconditionally valid. Check out 100 Days of Logic if you don't know what that means. And our conclusion follows. Bayesian epistemology is not a viable option from three and four modus tollens, which means is a valid argument and I haven't seen any arguments to object to premises one, two, or three, or rather I haven't seen any versions of Bayesian epistemology that don't hold premises one, two, and three. That was the problem of logical omnipotence. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at uncertain evidence and Jeffrey conditionalization, then old evidence prediction versus accommodation, new theories, and the problem of the priors. Watch this video and more here at Carneades.org. Check out the SCP for more information on all things Bayesian epistemology, and stay skeptical, everybody.